What's up, guys? It's Sebastian Subcage1 here, and we're back with more E3 2018 coverage. Holy shit, Xbox. Holy shit. We just got... I just finished it a few uh, minutes ago. I'm recording this as fast as I can. Now, I am currently rendering the EA video. I thought I was going to get it out in time. I did not have enough time. So, yeah. That being said, uh, I want to get this done as fast as possible this time. So, I have notes. You can hear it. I wrote them down this time. And I did live stream, so you can see my live reactions. Um, hopefully, the video is saved on Twitch, because I did enable that. But you can watch it. It is marked as an Xbox Media Brief 2018 E3. So, we're going to go right into it. And the first thing they showed was Halo. Uh, Halo Infinite is the name of it. Now, I'm going to say this is Halo 6. Because it's being made by 343 and it's a Master Chief related game. But we don't know anything else about the game. We don't have any release tentative year. We don't have anything at all. No, how the game's going to play. Look, well, we know how it looks. But that's it. Phil Spencer comes out. They pan to the audience, and apparently everyone's wearing the same type of shirt. At least in the front rows. I guess that's a shirt they gave out to everyone. Uh... Phil says there's going to be 50 games, with 15 of them being world premieres, and 18 of them being console, or not not console, exclusives. So then, the first game to show after that is Ori 2, which is Ori uh, and the Will of the Wisps. Looks cute, they showed it before. The uh, From Software game we saw last year, I believe it's Sony's press conference? Uh, Secro, Shadows Die Twice, which was that the which was the tagline they gave us before. Uh, Todd Howard comes on stage, and he says, Hey, Fallout 4, huh? It's going to be on Xbox Game Pass, and it's going to have the mod support, too. And then he details Fallout 76 for us. Fallout 76 is going to be a uh, prequel to every Fallout game. It's going to take place right after the bombs go off, uh, at least 25 years after the bombs have went off, um, it's going to have four size, four times the size of the map in Fallout 4. So this is going to be a big fucking game. It takes place in the hills of West Virginia, and that's as much as we know until tomorrow. Well, no, I shouldn't say tomorrow. Until tonight's, which is the next conference, by the way, uh, Bethesda's E3 showcase. So remember that later later today, Bethesda. So then the next game we get is a Life is Strange spin-off of sorts. Um, the Adventures of Captain Spirit. It's coming out June 26th. It's already ready to go. It's coming out later this month. Um, it's kind of like Imagination. It didn't really interest me that much. Uh, Crackdown 3, which recently got delayed. It's coming out February 19th, 2019. I mean, not February, not February 19th. February 2019. Not February 19th. Blah. Near Automata is coming to Xbox One with a, uh, a uh, Xbox One X enhancement. Metro Exodus has a release date now that was shown next. It's February 22nd, 2019. Then fucking Kingdom Hearts 3. Holy shit, we got Frozen. Uh, Sim uh, so we got Anna Elsa Kristoff, I think his name was. It's been a while since I've seen the movie. And, um... Olaf, uh, we saw Sora have a new Keyblade, an Ice Keyblade with a new tr transformation of uh, Blizzard Blades. Uh, Simba is in the game as a summon. We had the English voices actually have uh, in the trailer for once because we didn't have it before. Uh, Lark scene is back. We can confirm that now. She's in the Frozen World. She has fallen to Xehanort. You can see her eyes are now yellow. And then the trailer ends with the a fucking bomb. Uh, Aqua. They Firstly, they show off this weird keyblade that looks like a mix between a Kingdom Key and a Star Seeker. And then they show Aqua picking it up. Mickey's kind of like in this red-black void, and he's like, Is it that? Are you? And then it's fucking Aqua, and Aqua turns around after being enveloped in darkness and says, Mickey, you're too late. And her eyes are yellow. Zane or yellow. Oh, fuck. 
I hope we can save her. Oh god. That means we lost two Guardians of Light to Xehanort now. So Terra and Aqua. And Aqua's the only one that knows where Ven is. Now she can't do anything with Ven to wake him up, but if they find Ven, then oh shit, Sora's the only one that can wake him up with his heart, but if they find his body, they can just implant a part of darkness into him. So I think there's going to be a race to find Ventus in Kingdom Hearts 3, but let's, let, let, let's keep the Kingdom Hearts speculation to the Square Enix stuff. Um, they showed off Sea of Thieves next with an update trailer. There's two expansions coming. Cursed Sales is first. I didn't, it had a date I didn't write down. And Forsaken Sales, uh, not Forsaken Shores after. It's Sea of Thieves. You played it, you know what's coming. N nothing else special. Uh, they showed a Battlefield 5 trailer. It was a short trailer, at least. You knew it was happening. Um, they went to For Forza Horizon 4. It's going to have an open world. It's in Britain this time. Seasons are now in this on Xbox One X. It's going to be 60 frames per second. It is Game Pass available on day one, and it comes out October 2nd. Then uh, Phil Spencer comes back out, and he's talking about investing in our teams, basically stroking their edicts, confirming how they have purchased a few companies, and how these companies are now Xbox partners. Uh, Ninja Theory, for example, Playground, the people that make Hor Hor uh, uh, Forza, uh, they're now, I think, first or second party developers for Microsoft, and personally, it sucks because the next game they showed was We Happy Few. It's coming out August 10th as a full release, and... And he gave us a story trailer, and it kind of bothers me a little bit, because I wanted that game to not be an exclusive. I wanted to actually see how it would work, but whatever. It's a, it's a, it's a loss, but it's not a, a gigantic loss for me. As long as it comes to PC, you play anywhere. Which, by the way, they didn't talk about Play Anywhere at all, which kind of bothers me. I, play Anywhere is their best initiative they had in years, but, it, but it's made the system, purchasing the system completely useless. They went to PUBG. It's getting an update. It's getting a new mode called War Mode. And, uh, they showed a map at the end with some snow, and it's coming out winter. Next, a de definitive edition of a classic uh, game in the Tales of series, Tales of Vesperia. Uh, that looks interesting. I never, I, the only Tales of game I played is, uh, what's it called? Zestaria, I think? It's been a while since I played it. The one with Soray. Uh, where he plays as the shepherd. That one. I liked it. I didn't love it, but I liked it. Um, but it's nice to see this coming. Uh, Division 2 got a live demo and a trailer. It's coming out March 15th of next year. But, uh, I didn't like this. I felt this, especially this is with the Forza thing, too. I felt this was forced. I felt it was pretty blasé here. The fake co-op chatter that no one ever does when they play these games uh, was in the trailer. Just like when they originally revealed The Division 1, it didn't feel genuine. And I honestly thought in the middle of the trailer that they were going to do the same trick where someone leaves the party and betrays everyone to get all the loot. But they didn't do that. So, whatever. Uh, they talk about Game Pass, how there was more games than ever on Game Pass. Uh, Master Chief collection is going to be on Game Pass. Then they went to an indie reel, and I didn't get to get to, just to count all the indie games there. And um, they did show Shadows of the Tomb Raider next. It's coming out September 14th. I'm not a big fan of the, the new Tomb Raiders. I know they're good, but they're, they're a year exclusive to the Xbox family. And I know I could wait a year and play it on PlayStation, but I honestly just don't care. I haven't played any of them. Uh, then we see a skateboarding game, and everyone in the fucking mind, in the chat, of, uh, the official stream, was going, Skate 4! Skate 4! Skate 4! It's not Skate 4. Uh, it's called Session. And yeah, that's all we know. We don't know the developer yet. Uh, I'm sure after the, I'm sure there's a press release now by the developer, but it wasn't any developer tagged on the video. Uh, then they showed Black Desert, which is an MMO... It's, uh, that's coming to Xbox. It's already been out on the PC for a while. You can see I'm going really fast with this, right? 
Um, then they showed Devil May Cry 5. Yeah, Devil May fucking Cry 5. Uh, it's going in the same vein of the DMC reboot. However, I can't tell because at the end of the trailer, it looked like original Dante on the motorcycle, but the new character looked like the newer Dante, so I don't fucking know. The next game is an ex... I thought it was uh, a sequel, but no, I was wrong. It's It wasn't Cuphead 2, it was Cuphead's a, deal, a DLC for Cuphead. Coming in 2019... It's called The Delicious Last Course, and it's going to be a DLC expansion. By, by the way, Delicious Last Course, DLC, Delicious Last Course, yeah, get it? And there's going to be a new area, a uh, new story, a little, a little story, and a new playable character with Miss Chalice, and she looks adorable. Um, from there, we have Tunic which is kind of like a Zelda slash Titan Soul style game with a furry little fox as your character. And that was adorable. And then from here, Phil Spencer comes back and says, everything you see from here has never been premiered before. Get ready for to shit bricks. So, the first game they announced, and this is the one I'm most interested in out of this, the rest of this list, is Jump Force, coming in 2019. It's, it's J-Star's Victory Versus slash... Shonen Jump crossover obligatory celebration game. However, what they don't confirm, because they said team up to, to fight, what they don't confirm is, is this a fighting game? Like J-Stars and like all the, like the Dragon Ball games, like Naruto games? Is this a RPG? Is this, like, I want to know that because I definitely want that. They did confirm the following characters are in the game. Luffy, Goku, Naruto and Frieza. Those are the four confirmed characters we have, and it was a three-on-one fight. Uh, we saw a city. I don't know what city it was. It looked like a regular city mixed with elements of every other Shonen Jump uh, character there. Um, oh, there was another character. That's right, but we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Um, we saw Na the thing that Naruto lands on when he comes back to the Hidden Leaf. We saw the, the Thousand Sunny from One Piece, and we saw Frieza's ship from Dragon Ball. Uh, also, Goku went Super Saiyan, and he didn't go blue. Hmm. On top of this, at the end of the trailer, we did see Light Yagami from Death Note. And the, the devil character, I forgot his name, because it's been so long since I've seen Death Note. Um, but yeah, that's coming 2019. I really hope it's an RPG. Dying Light 2 was announced. He got a live demo. Looks alright. And then, out of left fucking field, was Battletoads. Coming in 2019, it's going to be 2.5D animated animation, uh, animated sprites. I'm excited for that. I, Battletoads has been, it's been a long time, man. I don't remember the last Battletoads game. They, I think the NES was the only place they really had a Battletoads. And then, Shovel Knight brought it back for a special Xbox exclusive thing. So it's nice to see them coming back. Just Cause 4 was announced. It's coming December 4th of this year. Then Gears of War is getting a mobile game based on their Funko Pop editions. Gears of War Pop. Which I have no idea why that was announced at this fucking conference. I really don't like mobile games. I really don't. But whatever, it's Gears of War. I guess it makes sense. It's an Xbox first, an Xbox exclusive brand. But then they talked about Gears Tactics, which is coming to PC exclusively, which is like it's like Halo Wars, but with Gears of War. And then they have fully officially announced Gears of War Five, which is coming in 2019. Then Phil Spencer ends the show, but before the show ends, they did a fake hacking, and CD Projekt Red finished the show off. With Cyberpunk 2077, and it actually looks pretty fun. However, we didn't see any gameplay. We just saw a pre-rendered cutscene. And yeah, I don't know how the game's going to work. So, with that said, I'm ex I thought this was a pretty good conference. This wasn't, uh, wasn't bad at all. I do want to see, uh, more from them. Uh, 
I will give them credit. They didn't do the thing that they wanted to do. When they were talking about Forza, they didn't bring a fucking car on stage, because let's be honest, no one fucking cares. And they didn't spend 80 fucking minutes on uh, stupid sports titles. So, yeah, it was a good conference. I would give that a solid 8 out of 10. A uh, lot better than EA. EA was, wasn't that great. But, uh, yeah. Good job, Microsoft. Good job. Uh, bonus points for fucking Kingdom Hearts, though. Oh, God. But uh, we'll save the Kingdom Hearts talk for the Square Enix conference. So, yeah, I'm going to end the video off here. Before I go, I'm going to mention that... Oh, and uh, before... I'm getting sidetracked. Before we go, I'm going to mention I'm going to be streaming the Bethesda conference. Excuse me. <clears throat> the Bethesda conference uh, later tonight on my Twitch. Twitch.tv slash septh. There is no one in there, just FTH. And, uh, yeah. Uh, we'll see more Fallout, so we'll know that, but I want to see what else they'll announce. Anywho, enough dilly dallying. I will see you guys later. And. Sorry for the lack of picture visual aid. I didn't. I thought I had more time, but I don't. I just want to get this out as soon as I can. So, a lack of pictures. Anyway, see you guys then.